Oh, sure. Hello, my name's Leonie Campbell. I'm a chartered occupational and counselling psychologist, which means that I look at human behaviour within the workplace. Um, I do a lot of diagnostic assessment to diagnose people for specific learning difficulties, and then I support them a lot afterwards. I do that in students, but my specialism is work. I'm also a counselling psychologist, which means that I see people for one-to-one -one sessions um, for therapy as well. Somebody who's dyslexic, what do you think are the benefits of knowing your strengths? Um, well, it means that you can celebrate them and it means that you know what you're good at. Um, and it means that you know, you know, if you're getting a team together or if you need to interact with people, what your role is in that team and what you can offer to others. And I think that's really important because sometimes, you know, people with specific learning difficulties don't celebrate their strengths and they feel that they'd rather not say anything because what they have to offer isn't the same as everybody else in the room. But, you know, those people in the room have something different to offer from us. So we can offer um, blue sky thinking and a lot of flexibility in the approach of the way that we see ideas which is different from others. So. What things are important to remember as somebody who's dyslexic when you're building a team around you? Well, um, remember your strengths, be specific, um, which might be a challenge for us, but be specific about what it is that you want others to do. Even though we like to go with gut feeling, Get somebody to help you to work out what your team is, who's more grounded, to help you to think about what you need in your team. So think about roles and what the requirements of those roles are and try to think about how you can get people to play to their strengths and kind of complement your team. So maybe bounce ideas off of others if you're, uh, if you're starting a team and don't just go on your gut feeling.